All right. I got to eat a little bit of crow on Black Widow. All right. So I'm going to give like a mini review on Black Widow because I did watch it. Also, I'm going to eat some crow because the movie did really, really well. I thought it would maybe kind of keep up with Fast 9, mostly because this movie is available on Disney+. Plus. Fast 9 was only available in movie theaters. You had to go see it in a theater. Whereas this movie, you had the option to watch it on Disney+. Plus. So I was expecting the digital version to do better and the box office to do okay, but not great. But it's actually done phenomenal. So I, I got to eat a little crow. I didn't think that this movie would do as good as it did for a lot of reasons. One, the marketing definitely had a had an M-E-T-O-O influence in it. It's all the actresses were talking about, or at least it's all the journalists were talking about, right? Like They were talking about it all the time, and, and they gave on it. But you had Scarlett Johansson definitely running with it, saying that this is Marvel's M-E-T-O-O movie. Which, okay, so I'll save the spoilers for a minute in case you don't want it. Because it's, it's kind of early. I don't want to spoil the movie early in this video. So let's just talk about the box office. Uh, the box office, we're getting two numbers with this. One is $218 million. Now this is a new kind of, this is kind of a new total. And that's because they're adding in this $60 million on Disney Plus Premier Access. I, I'm not buying that just yet. One, because this comes from Disney themselves. I would like to see some receipts. And I'm not saying it, did, it didn't do well on Disney Plus, but I just don't trust Disney. I, I'd, like, I'd like to see the receipts on that. So for now, let's just go with $117 million and we can come back to this number later but i i want to i want to take off i want to take off the 60 million so really it did 158 million which is still in a in a coof world pretty damn impressive pretty impressive i got to admit uh that's up there with fast 9 which also did really really well and Godzilla versus Kong. So I think 158 million is the total taking in Sunday's numbers, I believe. Uh, deadlines reporting 117 as of yesterday. The actual number from the box office should be there today at some point. Did really well. Uh, there's There's a happy side to this, and I know... You know, I hate saying that, but the, the good news here is that theaters are, are doing okay. Uh, I, I like theaters to stick around as long as they can. I do like going to the movie theaters. So, I mean, that is the good news on this. Um, so, I mean, I guess take that. I just, I really wonder how this movie will perform next weekend. Will it have a a drop off. And so with that, I'm going to talk about the movie. So if you don't want spoilers, now would be the time to check out on the, on the video. Cause I'm going to go into spoilers. I'm going to spoil details of the movie and talk about some things. So like I said, now's the time to check, uh, to check out, uh, leave your comment on how you feel about the box office. I think the box office, you know, it's telling, I think people are ready to get back out. People are ready to go do stuff. And people want to be entertained, and they're ready for anything. I mean, they haven't had a movie in in two years for Marvel. And Marvel marketed this movie twice, by the way. They were marketing this movie before the coof. So they were putting out trailers and talking about this movie and doing kind of some pressers. And then they delayed it. And then they market the movie again. So this movie has had a lot of marketing behind it for a while. You know, I, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to take away. From, like I said, I'm eating crow here. I just I think there's reasons this movie did well, and we'll see how it does next weekend. Will it have a drop off? Will it drop off? F9 
kept going. So the standard as of now is for Black Widow to dethrone F9 in Godzilla vs. Kong for top Koof movie. Uh, I think those are the standards for now because we really don't have much else to go off of because of the fact that, well, you know, movies aren't going to be pulling in $500 million in a weekend for a long time. And I think it's unfair to, ex- to expect that from the movie. It just is, and I'm, and I'm not going to go down that road because that's not that's not the way we should do this. That's it, it's not fair to throw that kind of shade in a movie. I think a hundred million weekend openers are very good when you consider you know all the propaganda and stuff and the scare tactics on people. The fact that the movie made a hundred million with a bunch of people in enclosed areas is pretty damn impressive. So I take my hat off. And I've eaten, I've now eaten my plate of crow. But now let's talk about what I thought about the movie. And I also, I didn't really hate the movie. I give the movie a six. I'd give the movie a six out of 10, which is a passable score, by the way. It's not a great score, but it's also not a shitty score. I'll tell you what I liked about the movie. The first half of the movie I thought was great. Uh, the scene, you know, with opening scene really set a good tone, uh, when they were escaping from shield and, uh, you had red guardian on the side of the plane shooting at them and stuff. That was awesome. The first half of the movie had a really good Jason Bourne spy thriller type of feel. And I gotta be honest for the first half of the movie, I was really enjoying it. And then After that, I really felt the movie took uh, too much of a Marvel formula turn. It went from being this really fun spy thriller to a generic Marvel movie, and it really fell flat, especially in the final act. When they revealed that basically, and I've heard some other people say this, and they're absolutely 100% correct, uh, the villain is definitely Harvey Weinstein-inspired. This movie definitely is inspired by the METOO movement. I don't think there's any denying that. They really jump into it at the end, where Harvey Einstein talks about his girls and how he can uh, take over the world with them. I thought that part was cringy, especially when he was like, oh, uh, the natural, I take the natural resources of the world, girls that would put in the trash. Stuff like that. And... I got to be honest, uh, I think Critical Drinker said this, or I, I don't remember who, but she basically wins the fight by giving herself brain damage <laughs> because she can't attack him. She can't attack him because she can smell his pheromones. So she's got to bust her nose and sever the link of smell. She, she can't smell, and that's how she messes him up. And then there was some really cringy stuff where uh, Black Widow's sister goes and she she's going to sacrifice herself and it's just really cheesy scene she sticks uh, her staff in this jet engine and it explodes and she goes off and <laughs> it's really bad it's really bad but there were a lot of things I liked about it and there were a lot of things that I didn't like about it but I'm not going to lie and say that I absolutely hated it just to prop it up and you know get the right opinions. I, I want to be honest. I didn't hate it. I thought it was a six. I, th- I thought it was a six. And that's okay. A six is okay. But I thought it was a, it was clumsy. It had a lot of problems. But for the most part, I, I don't think it's a terrible time. It's just It just kind of falls apart at the end a little bit. And that's it. Uh, It's definitely way better than Captain Marvel. And that has a lot to do with Scarlett Johansson, who's a fantastic actress. I'm not taking that away from her. Uh, I don't like the way she's marketing this movie and talking about it as this big experience and and stuff like that. But it is what it is. Uh, The marketing did not hurt this movie. And it did very, very well. So there is my crow. I have eaten it. Uh, I didn't hate the movie. But I also didn't think it was great. It's definitely not the best Marvel movie. uh, But it's not the worst. Uh, That still goes to Thor Dark World. Anyway. 
That's it. What are your guys' thoughts? How do you feel about the movie? Let me know. Oh, I should talk about Taskmaster. Yes, yes, Taskmaster. Uh, that is not Taskmaster. Uh, that is not Taskmaster at all. They butchered him. Uh, <laughs> I mean her for the movie. <laughs> they butchered her. Him. Whatever. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyway, what did you guys think about the movie? I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, how do you feel about the box office for this movie? What are your thoughts? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.